My first failed business was a clothing line. Uh, it was called Odyssey Clothing. I did that when I was 16, but then after that was done, I wouldn't call it a failed business. I just, nobody's, nobody's buying my shirt, so. Hey, hey, hey. The second thing I did, which is on Greg's point, uh, and some of you guys have probably heard this, I went to a, and you guys can write this stuff down. I'm literally here to show you guys what I did. It's called Better, anybody can do this, BetterNikeBot.com. This is my first profitable business. Anybody can do this. Uh, you feel free at break to ask me questions about it. This was the first business I made, so I remember sitting in the back of junior, well, I actually got told to leave the classroom, but junior year, the back of the English classroom, this teacher hated me because I would never pay attention. I'm in the back. And I would have $3,000 days from the back of her classroom as a high school kid. And what I was doing was flipping shoes. So how many have heard uh, Yeezy? Those shoes. I've got a few pair of Jordans. So what I would do was there's a, and I'm telling you everything right now, go to write down if you're curious at all, scoop as an ice cream scoop, 208 sneaker fam, F-A-M. I know that's a weird thing, but that is a Facebook group that I live and die by if I'm trying to sell shoes. So it's about 100,000 people that want shoes. So this is the business, and I'm just doing this to try to give you guys some ideas. What I used to do, I went to betternikebot.com. This is a robot that I would put my credit card into, and it would basically, these shoes would sell out so fast that humans couldn't click fast enough. They'd be sold out. This bot, you probably know, and you probably didn't like guys like me. This bot, this bot would like microsecond click, 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 click the add cart button, and it would get me five or six pair of shoes. And I could probably pull it up on YouTube. I literally, so what I would do is I would get the shoe, I'd take a picture of the confirmation to my name and address, and I'd go and post the receipt to Scoop 208 Sneaker Fam and say, I've got a size 10 Yeezy available, and I would double or triple the price. And I'd double or triple my money without even holding the shoe yet. And then what I would do is take it a step further, and I would always ship it to my house because I didn't know who was going to buy it, and I would shoot a YouTube video with the shoe. I can, on a break, I'll try to find him and literally show you young Patrick in my parents' house holding up like these shoes. And I would shoot a video because people trusted people that were shooting videos and saying, my name's Patrick Kenny, I'm selling this shoe. This is a really cool shoe, you should buy it. So that was the first business I did. I actually did that till I was like 19. So I had already started trading and everything. And I had done that for a while. And that was one of the supplement incomes that I had made. And the only caveat to that is now is harder than then. Shoes have, so I'm out of the game now. So I don't know what's popular. I imagine Yeezys are still kicking. But what I'd recommend doing, if you're curious in that, is go to Scoop 208 Sneaker Group, and all I would do is watch that on the day. I would uh, Google heat, heat release calendar. It's like re shoe releases. Mm -hmm. I'd figure out what's coming out on a Saturday. It was always a Saturday. I'd figure out what's coming out, and then I'd go on that Facebook group, and I would look at the people, and they would scope out, like, who's got me for a size 12? And if I saw enough people talking about the same shoe, I knew that there was a lot of demand for it. That's what I went after, because I didn't know what was going to sell or not.